It just has too many nutrients. We need to microwave it and kill them off. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to check out Goodful with their video What a Vegan Ballerina, Vegan Bodybuilder and a Vegan Runner Eat in a Day. Wow, I can't wait for that nutritional advice. Let's have a look. Hi everyone, my Hello. name is Nina and I'm going to be sharing what I eat in a day as a vegan ballet dancer. Honestly, this time I don't have anything to critique. Most ballet dancers already look anorexic. The vegan diet is perfect for that. I'm Allison Powell. I'm a vegan ultra runner and I am going to show you everything I eat in one running on sugar day with a long run. I'm Alex Teixeira. I'm here to share with you what I eat in a day as a vegan bodybuilder. What sure I thing, eat bro. honestly changes on a day-to-day -day basis depending on my energy needs and activity level, which fluctuates a lot in ballet, especially if you're in a performing season or not. Although I like to stick to whole foods as much as possible when I can because I feel I dance my best and feel my best when I do. For breakfast, I made a simple oatmeal bowl topped with nuts and fruit. This is a classical vegan breakfast and most normies believe that this is healthy. They see fruits, they see nuts, oatmeal, fantastic for you. The reality is of course, she doesn't consume any protein for breakfast. It's just a bunch of sugar just a bunch of plant oils and of course indigestible fiber in form of oats. What is healthy about this? How is this a whole food? Where do you find this? Those fruits are manufactured. This is a seedless banana. Wild bananas have seeds and much less fruit flesh. With that obviously much less sugar. This is a sugar bowl. I'm beginning by bringing a pot of water to a boil. I'll add we in my the oats recipe. and let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Oatmeal is one of my favorite breakfasts because it keeps me full for a long time. Exactly, it keeps you full. This is the only thing this breakfast will do. Is it nourishing? Do you feel nourished? Do you feel replenished? No, you simply feel full. The fiber bloats you. You're confusing a hurting gut with being nourished. And helps keep my energy balanced for an hour and a half to two hour ballet class. After wow. the oats have finished cooking, I add them to a bowl and top with banana, raspberries, strawberries, almond butter, walnuts and finish it off with some cinnamon and i typically this is eat this terribly after I unhealthy workout just some strength and conditioning exercises in the morning of course she needs coffee which i'll just have some coffee with my favorite dairy-free creamer beforehand and she believes she gets the energy from the oats Next with me sure. they're good to have when i don't have much time in between a class here i brought a wow. macro bar and i made a small protein drink that i just shake up with some almond milk and my favorite vegan protein powder so here you have it the only thing that keeps her somewhat alive is protein powder in a shake and protein powder again in this bar. Plants have proteins too. What does that bring you if you can't even absorb it? Vegans have to rely on powders to extract some meaningful protein amounts of their plants. The human digestive tract cannot absorb protein out of plants. You're not a herbivore. Favorite vegan protein powder. Again. For breakfast, I made peanut butter toast with blackberries. Before my run, I'll usually <laughs> eat half a banana, a spoonful of peanut butter, so I have energy to get me started. How do you have energy? You have 10 grams of sugar, a bunch of plant oils yet again, and aflatoxins in the peanut butter. Long runs, I'll bring That's it. Tailwind, which is already vegan, and gluten-free, endurance fuel, vegan gel. And now we are talking. This is where the energy comes from. You have isolated sugars in those gels. Else. Your breakfast was useless. When I get back hey. from my run, I love to make a protein shake so I can get some I'll rest my case. protein and I'm usually pretty tired so I'll just mix that up in some water and drink it right away. On my long run days like today, I'll be going about 15 miles. So I'm pretty hungry when I get back and this is human torture. My typical breakfast is at least three slices of toast with lots and lots of peanut butter. Actually, yeah, awesome breakfast. As I said, peanut butter, high in aflatoxins. And here you have the vegan's favorite, bread. Some vegans even believe it's meat. Mm, this 
is actually epic. Which is a bunch of anti-nutrients and gluten. Calories, extra Again. protein, extra fat. It's really filling and delicious. Why? And I love topping it off with fresh berries. Now Hopefully it's healthy. A few ingredients. We have this berries. Is a great way to add some sweetness to your morning. And I totally <laughs> they need more sweetness. love it. So for breakfast, I had avocado toast and a protein smoothie. I actually have the same thing post-workout as well. I tend to eat my fruit in the morning. Okay. <sighs> I'm not against supplements. Supplements should be here to supplement <laughs> a healthy human diet. That's why they're called supplements. In this case, however, vegans cannot absorb protein out of plants. This is why they have to excessively drink protein shakes. You heard the guy. He's drinking two protein shakes, one for breakfast, one after his workout. He cannot get any meaningful amount of protein from plants get it in your head it's kind of taper off for the rest of the day always some chia seeds chia seeds are great yeah why i put a vegan protein powder some oats so next we're gonna bake the bread for the avocado toast i like to use ezekiel bread or anything ezekiel bread is better granted i think that whole wheat has so many benefits to it just smash that up with how for which benefits Tell us. Work as Nobody knows. Raw pumpkin seeds. As Nobody well. cares. And there you go. Ha. Nice and nutritious breakfast. For lunch. I'm nice and nutritious breakfast. You ate a bunch of seeds in form of bread. You topped that up with plant oils in form of avocado. You had a protein shake to have some protein synthesis going there. How is this healthy? How is this nutritious? There you go. Nice and nutritious breakfast. For lunch, I'm going yeah. to be making a miso maple harvest bowl. I'm starting off with <laughs> my roasted vegetables by coating chopped sweet potatoes with olive oil, maple syrup, five spice, and some cinnamon. Wow. Then I'm adding in some chopped carrots and giving that a stir. Then I add in some red onions and make sure everything is evenly coated. Then I transfer the vegetables to a baking pan to roast at 425 degrees Why? for 20 to 30 minutes. Now I'm going to be preparing the miso maple Bleh. tahini dressing. To a bowl, I'm adding some tahini. You see this often in Israeli vegan restaurants. When I was a vegan, especially on Koh Phangan in Thailand, many Israeli vegan restaurants, and they use the tahini as a replacement, even though it will never replace animal fats. And miso concentrate. I'm giving that a stir and then adding some olive oil and maple syrup. Brick. I was having trouble getting it to fully incorporate, so I ended up using my electric whisk. You could also do this in a blender as well. Yeah, you can do everything in a blender. Finally, I added in some cinnamon and a bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, and mixed it again. Now I'm going to be this? preparing my tempeh that I have already pre-steamed, which removes a bit Finally, of Finally, we have some plant protein. Wow. Flavor. I added the tempeh to a bowl and coated it in the miso tahini dressing. Then I transfer the tempeh to a baking pan and bake <laughs> it for 25 minutes at 400 degrees. Next, to prepare my kale, I'm just massaging it with some olive oil to make it a little bit... I'm not going to say it again, guys. You already know how toxic kale is. Come on. More tender. If you've been watching this channel, you know. And now to assemble everything together, I'm adding in quinoa that I've already pre-cooked as well as the kale and the five spice roasted vegetables. And uh, it's absolutely cruelty free. Don't worry about the exploitation of the workers that have to farm your quinoa. Don't worry about that they don't have anything to eat. As long as you can eat imported quinoa, it's vegan. Okay. Then I'm adding in some dried cranberries on top as well as vegan feta and finishing it off with the miso maple tahini dressing. Oh, wow, and man. sometimes along with lunch, I love to have a kombucha. Now I'm going to be preparing <laughs> another snack, which I might have till the end of my dancing day or on my commute wow. home. She still needs snacks. Imagine the tempeh being meat. You wouldn't need any snacks after that. With lunch, I love to have But they don't question kombucha. it. Why now am I still hungry? Be, this is multigrain crackers along with some guacamole. Multigrain is healthy. And with some sort of fruit. Today I have apples. Wow. For lunch, I am making a really big salad with lots of beans and veggies. All you need to do is grab some fresh green insoluble fiber. Please proceed. Some roasted red pepper, all nice and chopped up. I love adding cranberries to salad. It's a really Did you notice that they always add something sweet on top of their vegetables? 
Why is that so? Because they hate vegetables and they love sugar. Good. Hey! Some red onions. That's it. Spicy flavor. Really? And chickpeas, garbanzo beans are a great source of protein. Yeah, exactly. Let's just say that because we heard it somewhere. Look at this. This is a handful of chickpeas. How much protein does that have? Three grams? How much will you extract? One gram? A great source of protein. A great source of protein. Yes. Turn it off with some crumbled blue corn chips. This vegan goddess dressing. <laughs> That's how much she loves her salad. She has to add nachos on top. Don't get it twisted, guys. It doesn't matter which color those nachos have. They have the exact same nutritional value like Cheetos. Especially same. on a day when I'm feeling a little bit lazy and hungry and just want to eat right away. Usually around 3 or 4 <laughs> o'clock, I will get hungry again and I love making this really quick easy vegan hot chocolate I put in a cup of milk in the microwave for one mm, minute milk but it's not it's a fortified plant protein beverage this is not milk you know it yourself the only reason why this has protein is because they added isolated plant protein to it again you're living off supplements easy vegan that's hot it chocolate I put in a cup of milk in the microwave for one minute, add some cocoa powder, microwave it again for one minute. I really like this. <laughs> it just has too many nutrients. We need to microwave it and kill them off. Milk, ultra milk, it does have a lot of calories and a lot of protein, so it's really filling in the afternoon. And wow. I'll usually pair that with some fruit. Poor salt, man. Apple. So next I did potatoes, Let's go, Alex. beans, basil, and onions. So I like to saute up the onions. I'm going to add the potatoes next. Of course, I would like to put salt, pepper, different types of seasonings, and then the white beans. And then, of course, I put the like meat right alongside <laughs> with it. Pairs really well. It has been. Yeah, it pairs really well. Yet again, they don't understand what they're doing. They're completely blind. They are under the vegan spell. Look at this. He's just eating a bunch of potatoes. Potatoes are plants. They don't have protein. He already drank two protein shakes because plants don't have protein. So what does he do next? He has to eat meat because if you're lifting heavy weights, obviously you will have meat cravings, but he's eating a meat replacement, which consists of, again, isolated protein powder. Do you get it now? No, you don't. I put the like meat right alongside with it. Pairs really well. It has been a little bit harder to gain muscle, maintain muscle. It's the challenge that actually interests me. And there are- Yeah, that's the challenge that interests you, admitting that he built his muscle prior to veganism, because he clearly said it is hard to build, uh, maintain the muscle. He simply tries to maintain his muscle on a vegan diet. Do you see how pathetic this is? A lot of skeptics. Everybody's going to wow. think that you're going to shrink and you can never become a bodybuilder. You it's will. simply not true. You just have to have the right numbers, hit your macros, <laughs> and you will grow. For mm, dinner? Sure. You just have to have the right macros. Not taking into consideration that you don't have the micros. Let's start with something that you care about. Plants don't have creatine. Zero. No creatine whatsoever. They have no carnitin either. No carnison. Quite important for muscle building, you would think. They don't have cholesterol, which is the precursor of all sexual hormones, steroid hormones. You probably don't care about it because you're on. And nothing wrong with that. But with steroids, you have a better protein synthesis. Because you have a higher protein synthesis, now you chuck down isolated plant protein powder and you can maintain somewhat for a while. But once your body is depleted of all the micronutrients, you will suffer like the rest. You will grow. For dinner, you I'm won't. going to be making a chickpea salad sandwich along with some pumpkin lentil soup. I'm going to begin by assembling the chickpea salad first. Wow. I'm adding the chickpeas to a bowl and mashing them up thoroughly and then tossing in some chopped carrots, celery, and onion. Mixing it up this again so and then adding in some vegan mayo, pepper, and dried cilantro. Once everything is well combined, I'll move on to making the sandwich. I've toasted two pieces of bread and I'm adding vegan mayo to both slices. Oh, Topping with tomato, God help us, avocado, please. sprouts, lettuce, and finishing it off with the chickpea salad. Obviously mimicking eggs. As always, you want to eat eggs. Just eat them. Up some pre-made pumpkin lentil soup to serve with my Get sandwich. In. And this has to be one of my favorite recipes. It's so good after a long day. <laughs> For dinner, I made I'm a sure. mix of veggies with rice and tofu. I'm gonna roast some cauliflower and broccoli. 
add some olive oil. Completely and indigestible. Olive powder. You will poop it off. Turmeric is really good. It's an anti-inflammatory, so I really like eating that on the weekends, on my longer run days. <laughs> I'm gonna roast that at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm gonna make some quick air fried tofu to go with that. All I'm doing is dropping it in some whole wheat flour. I did well grease the pan, and I'm gonna put that into the air fryer for just about. This is so hilarious to me because I did the same as a vegan vegan bodybuilder if you will back in the day i ate a bunch of tofu because i bought into the lie that all proteins are created equally nobody in asia where tofu comes from would ever eat such an amount of tofu they eat it as a condiment in their soups in their noodle dishes why is that so because tofu is highly estrogenic and wrecks your digestion no human being can digest a whole block of tofu. It is like eating soap. Minutes. So I just added Have some diced red onion. I'm actually using cast iron, which is really helpful for vegans because it actually adds iron into your food and <laughs> adds some... Admitting that you don't have enough iron in your plants mushrooms yet again. I love mushrooms. They have such good flavor. These are just sliced baby bellas. And then I'm adding in some fresh sliced green pepper. I added in some fresh grated ginger. So it has really good flavor and lots of good healing properties for your body. Not sure. a lot of steps. I like to keep it simple. I'm adding some brown rice. Super I'll simple. How about eating a steak? Broccoli, cauliflower, Too and simple. air fried tofu. For dinner, I can eat a giant plate. I'm pretty hungry by the end of the day. And I love just digging in. At night, I pretty much always eat a snack before I go to bed. I'm just burning so many calories as a runner throughout the day that I have to eat something. And you cannot go wrong with some dark chocolate chips and peanuts. <laughs> as a you absolutely can't go wrong by eating peanuts and chocolate. Do you hear yourself? The mix. It's the perfect bedtime snack. Wow. It's really filling and totally delicious. So now You need to fill yourself up because you're starving. Why don't you eat a steak? You wouldn't be full, but you would be nourished. It's the perfect food. Next, I did some brown rice, some roasted veggies, some white beans, and some more like meat. Just roasted up the veggies, oh, wow, a man. little salt, throw them in the oven. I put it at 425. This guy doesn't get it's it delicious. at all. It never gets old. I have noticed no, no differences since I've become fully plant-based. I definitely have a lot more energy. My skin is cleared up. Mm. I've built this muscular physique and I've been able to maintain it for the last two years on a plant-based diet. So it's <laughs> definitely doable, guys. Hey, guys! All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Absolutely amazing nutritional advice, you guys. Go vegan. I can do it too. Hey, I've been vegan for two years. Wow. Man, we already know that every single person in that video will be a future ex-vegan. The dropout rate in veganism is over 90 percent stop kidding yourself anyways the video is long enough guys if you liked it leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support this channel all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for your support and as always may god bless you all guys much love and peace